We're told that an apple produces if a force greater than, um, let's see here, eight newtons um, is ex uh, exerted on it. And then we have a 0 0.1 kilogram apple falling from uh, two meters up and it stops after sinking into the ground or the grass. Um, what is that, uh, six centimeters. So we want to know if um, the apple will bruise. So we have our um, have our information here. The force that we, the maximum that we allow it to have on the apple, the mass of the apple, the distance that it's falling, which we'll use to figure out how fast it's going when it hits the ground, and the distance that it sinks into the ground or into the grass. Now. We can use uh, this information along with the gravitational constant to figure out the velocity, and that is 6.26 meters per second. It's traveling when it hits the ground. And we can then use the um, um, our equations for uh, impulse momentum equations to figure out what the force would be if the if that um, if it takes um, 0.6. 0 0.06 meters or 6 centimeters to come to rest and we plug into this equation and we get that that is 32.7 newtons which is much greater than this so in fact the apple will um, it will cause a bruise on the apple